the Joe Rogan experience. I don't I don't do edibles because I <laughs> That's my, hilarious. My, well I, I was in Kenyon <laughs> College Kenyon College in nineteen seventy three and my dad was coming to visit. And uh, one of my one of my people on the floor at this dormitory, they made some marijuana brownies. Oh boy! And Every I had good never taken. Story a, starts that way. <laughs> <laughs> I ate two brownies. I go, my dad's coming in two or three hours. So what the heck? And I was so friggin' stoned, I could not believe it. And I could barely. My eyes were really. I was trying to trying to maintain it. You know how it is. You're trying to look like you're not stoned, but you're blitzed out of your gourd. And uh, so I w- my dad was like you're looking at me really curiously. This is 19, the early 1970s. And so the next day I said, hey, Dad, I got to tell you something. I, I ate some marijuana brownies. And he goes, I knew something was wrong. I knew I could tell. I could tell. I go, well, no shit, Sherlock. I was I'm flatly on the floor. Yeah. But it was it's but marijuana. Did he get mad at you? No, he was actually amused and delighted that I explained <laughs> to him why I look so stoned. Oh well, that's great saying, that so. you had that kind of communication. Yeah, just before before he died, he wanted to trip on mushrooms, and uh, and I, I turned him down because he was close to the end of his life, and um, he was very religious, and I was concerned I would shake his reality tree so severely that he would question his entire life because he was like the death of the salesman figure is a tragic life that he led, and the mushrooms could have helped him enormously, but I was a concern that he would look back and goes, I wasted my life. Oh, man. And so that was too much of too heavy for me, you know. Maybe my I maybe I'm being selfish because I was trying to protect my own feelings. Did, but he wanted to do it. He asked me actually. He said, "I want to I want to do soul side mushrooms with you," and uh, he wouldn't smoke pot. Do you have regrets about that about not doing it with him? I do. I have I have a lot of regrets about that. Um, so I I have met several people in the past several weeks at Stanford Medical School, at these other conferences that I go to, which uh, there's a brain-mind conference at Stanford Medical School, and the first two sentences they mention psilocybin. 120 neuroscientists, you know, and $150 billion in the room, and psilocybin was immediately mentioned. And when I met some people there that are intergenerational, grandparent, parent, and 18-, 19-year-old child all journeyed with mushrooms together. And their interpersonal relationships, they told me, you know, they, there's no reason for us ever to get mad at each other. And I just thought that was really powerful. Wow. Yeah, that is powerful. That sounds inconceivable to someone who's never experienced psychedelics, but someone who has, you go, yeah, I see how you could get there. Yeah, don't make mountains out of molehills. Yeah. You know, you can disagree without being angry, and you can be civil about it. Yeah. So, um, well, that's a lesson the world could use right now. Yeah. Um, I think this is, in many ways, the antidote for some of the problems that we're seeing with social media. One of the problems we see with social media is this disconnect from the human experience, disconnect from communication, person-to-person communication, and this uh, anger and vitriol and look hate and just uh, and rage. And people hiding behind screen names yes, and yes, trolls. Yes. You know, you're Joe Rogan. I'm Paul Stamets. Yeah. Well, who are these people high behind screen names? Yeah. Who, who just And a, a great TED Talk, which I did not understand, and the TED Talk was fantastic, talking about why trolls do the things that they do. They do it because they get excitement. Sure. The idea is just to disturb the fabric. And the more disturbance they get, that is a measure of their success. Yes. And provoking a response, even though they're not wedded to it. Yes. They just want to be able to cause a ripple in the pond. Yeah. And uh, Well, they don't feel significant, so they want to do something yeah. that – they can get some sort of reaction. They have a rock. They see a window. They yeah. want to throw it. Yeah. It's it's a natural inclination, but it's stupid. It's barbaric. It's a, way, but it's yeah. a waste of fucking time, yeah. you know. And some people celebrate it. I'm like, yeah. okay, celebrate it. You're not doing shit. Yeah. You're not doing shit for yourself. You're not doing shit for other people. You're not improving whatever your art is, whatever your whatever whatever it is that you you try to do in this life to leave your mark or to contribute or to be creative. You're not doing that if you're trolling. Yeah. You're just all, not. All, all trollers should eat mushrooms. <laughs> yes. Well, a, 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 all angry people should eat mushrooms. Yeah, yeah that's true. I, I really agree, agree with that. 